Well, looky here. It's the 23rd of February, 2020, and we're heading up now at about 10 a.m. to go hiking the Dragon's Tooth. <laughs> Sounds really cool, huh? <laughs> Sorry you missed it. Uh, we've been enjoying our ride so far, and uh, I ate a huge meal last night in preparation to go hiking. <laughs> How about that? We'll see you guys on the trail. On the trailhead, or just about, we have Ian and Bullet, Maggie, Braids, Natalie, David, and myself. Off we go. Five minutes, about five minutes in, we're able to grab in a water break, take off our sweaters and jackets. No, no, no. 20 minutes. Uh, Bullet also is able to run around naked. Fur. I have hair. Perfectly decent. Center of gravity. Ever upward, ever onward. Take a look at the scenery as we're going up higher in altitude. Uh, there, there is more color in the universe now because of this. We get to discuss things like uh, how we should probably keep moving. <laughs> Where are the fields? Where is Ian? Where is Bullet? Slow pokes. Dragon's Tooth. Another 0.7 miles this way, which we covered in, a, in an hour or less. It'll probably take us an hour to do the 0.7 miles. Maggie was just anxious about this point of the show, read the sign, and immediately started thinking about death. Yeah. I had two dogs. About that point, I was like, I'm going to die. Oh, does it say something on the back about death? I don't know. Yeah, they put the big warnings on the back so you miss it. <laughs> we're in. Bullet has found his magazine. Jack, guys. Precious. He's not going to hurt your shoulder. He's not that heavy. I'll be good You too. How much does he weigh? And Ian has become a kangaroo. 11 pounds. 11. Well, that's not terrible, but depending on how heavy your pack is, it might be. No, uh, it's not. I don't want too much in it. Really I mean, you got a selling kit in there. It weighs so much. All right. We're sunbathing. Video up. All right, we're ready. Haters. You're welcome to have some. We just hiked up the steps. Yeah, we have extra snacks too. Yeah, got a couple things. We are now. About 0 0.2, 0 0.3 uh, miles away from the Dragon's Tooth Zenith. Uh, yeah. Apogee. We just climbed up a mountainside of slate, and now we get the benefit of looking over some really beautiful terrain. Cool. Uh, be careful of the dog, though. Is he going to go help him? No, he's going to see how fast he can do it. <laughs> get to the top? He looks like a freaking... <laughs> You're gonna be out of... Uh, crazy, person? crazy person? Yeah. Crazy? Yeah. Yeah. He's with two packs as well. Oh, there he goes. I believe we have reached the dragon's teeth. We get to take pictures. Sit down for lunch. Yes. Dog sees bullet. And admire the view. Yeah, I have my pack of food. No. What? We're able to grab a, a good lunch toward the top. We'll say it is pretty fun being up this high and a little nerve wracking. This is some gorgeous scenery up here. Fortunately, the wind is not too powerful, so I'm not in particular fear for my life. It's a really nice view.
now braids, climbs the heights of the dragon's tooth. I'm trying not to break my phone or my face. So we're up really high right now. And uh, it's beautiful, isn't it beautiful, Braids? It is. Braids, you made it all the way up here. Oh, it's a video. It is. Yeah, look at all this expanse. She was like, don't do any, if you would lecture me at like about this. There are our friends. And here is Braids. Hey. You're so pretty. Thanks. Yeah. Did you see this mom-in-law? No, stop that. <laughs> no. We're, we're playing it safe. No dancing. Done it. Maggie has done it. She has conquered the dragon's tooth. She's done it, and the sky is her dom domain now. That's terrible. That's where we were, and here's where Braids was just a moment ago. Beautiful scenery shot standing on the second highest ledge here in uh, Dragon's Tooth. It's pretty nice looking. She didn't come to see me. You want to see the, sun, the, uh, the view. Thanks to Maggie for initiating this trip, for David and Natalie for their planning, and for Ian for bringing the mascot.